berated B-rated movies. Welcome to berated B-rated movies, where B-rated isn't a bad word. I'm Anthony. I say, turn me up. <laughs> turn my headphones up. Uh, what's going on, everybody? I am Brian, as usual. Yep. Yep. I was trying to think of something <clears throat> funny to come in with. Motherfucker. <laughs> Anyways, so thinking of something funny to come in with, my son, um, we're listening to Eminem, and all of a sudden he's like, you know, I like Eminem now. I'm like, what do you mean now? Like, you've, we've always listened to him in this house. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember what song he came down singing. But, yeah, he's always, I think when he was in kindergarten, that was when, like, Kill Shot came out. Oh, okay. Where he's like, uh, <clears throat> you know, I rap better, you dress better. Is that a death threater, a love letter? And he would go, like, he would have that part almost memorized. And, like, he'd go to, like, little girls in his class and be like, hey, you want to rap for you? And he'd, like, start rapping just those, like, oh my four God. or five senses. I was like, damn, son. All right. Spitting game. Right? Good for you. <laughs> Good for you, bro. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what? He graduated. Uh, he's going to the next level of. He's going to fourth grade now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He had all A's except for writing. He got a B. And I don't know if it's handwriting, but I mean, his handwriting is pretty fucked in half. But. Um, I mean. I go, the other Doctors one, have shitty writing, so what's what's the No, nah, I mean, if you're difference? trying to pass a sweetie a note, dude, you got to get that shit. <laughs> you know, you got to you got to get that down, man. <laughs> <clears throat> I remember uh, I have really nice handwriting, penmanship, whatever you want to say it. And so I remember in high school having to do like the ask the girls to dances. You know, mm-hmm. we'd write the notes or anything. Like my friends would be like, "Can you write my notes for me?" And I'm like, "Are you joking?" <laughs> so, whatever. Like, I keep trying to get him to freaking practice writing and everything. We try to do new stuff every day. Like, okay, write about this car. Write about this Lego set. And he just keeps, I don't know, man, just the writing. So, but I think the teacher said it was more like a, like story writing. Okay, where, yeah. You know. The introduction and do this. And I want to be like, you know what? Isn't that what Chat GPT is for now? <laughs> like, Actually, you can get in trouble for that. No, like they, they'll. <clears throat> we have. Um, yeah. In my college, we have. Uh, what is it? The the predictor that basically predicts if what you're writing is. Well, who is that? Like, Was it your own words or not your own words? And that's how they're catching some of these people that are just like like putting something into chat GPT and then just like plucking it out and putting it in as a discussion post. Yeah. Well, didn't you see that just on the news this week, this week, maybe last week, that NBA player who had to write a apology to his fans and he literally just copied the paragraph and then put it and then pasted it and then sent it. And everybody's like, you're talking about jaw. I'm, I'm, I'm John Moran, the gun guy. Yeah. I want to say no name. I want to get shot. That's John. Moran. (laughs) That's John Morant. Yeah. This is Brian, by the way, that did not say that. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Anthony's address. um, Yeah. They literally just copied and pasted that paragraph. And everybody's like, what? And they just typed in something like, apology to my fans for this. And then it popped up the exact same word for word for word. And it's like, damn, you didn't even like edit it. Yeah, that's lazy. <laughs> like, At least like like change some of the wording a little bit to make it sound more like you. Where it's like I apologize. Be like I'm sorry for, you know. Yeah. <laughs> or something like oh I send God. out a lot of emails and like hopefully no, I don't think anybody that I work with uh, listens to this, but I have like template emails, dude, and like I copy them and I paste them and then I will edit it, you know, to make it sound more native and natural yeah yeah you know but if there's like you son of a bitch that's why every single time you email me it's the exact same thing every time 
yeah, no. But yeah, so all A's and then he got a B, and I was like, Ugh. that's over. It's all right. Yeah, that's the thing, you. though. Is um, I mean, I'm not a great writer, but even the writing we learned in nursing, it's technical writing. So you're not telling a story. You're basically, you know, writing in the third person, learning what to write about, what not to write about, kind of stuff, that kind of thing. So well, they also said that, you know, first grade was COVID. And so they said they did a lot of like penmanship and shit like that in first grade. We're like, we're, the, you know, my wife and I, we're the bad parents, the rude parents, I guess, that. We're like, guess what? Just because you're fucking out of school doesn't mean you get to do all this shit. You got, you got to read, you got to write, you got to do some math. Yeah, you know, and that's why he's ahead of where he's supposed to be. Like, we literally just got. I mean, you can see those thick ass books right there. Mm-hmm. Those are his summer workbooks. <laughs> so he's like, "I'm out of school though. It's the summer. I was do like, it, man. Guess what? Do it. Yeah. Because by the time he hits college, he's gonna, he's be, he'll be ready. Man, I'm really hoping that we win the lotto before that. And then we don't have to do anything. <laughs> so I'm putting a lot of my eggs, mostly all of my eggs, into well, all of them actually. In in the <laughs> the, the lottery. Into the lottery. Or or rich relative. Mm, no, I'm going to lottery. Okay. Unless there's some like random relative that we don't know about. Yeah, like I was that's what that's what I mean, like distant <clears throat> rich relative that you didn't know about that somehow knows you. Really banking on Mr. Deeds. <laughs> to happen to me <laughs> start texting my mom mom do we know anybody who like worked in you know new like, york skyscrapers for skyscrapers somebody? textiles <laughs> do they produce things anything like that yeah <laughs> banking on that but yeah so he's good he's good but like i look at some of the stuff in the books that we have and, like, I was so pissed. And, like, I don't know, maybe I'm old. But, like, he's in third grade. He started third grade touching base on basic edition. And then he ended third grade with, like, I think it was multiple kind, multiple kind, multiplying <laughs> fucking fractions. And I was like, so you skipped over multiplication, division, like vertical addition, vertical subtraction, yeah, like fucking all this shit. Like he's gonna be in like calculus when he's in like sixth grade. Jesus, dude. Like, and I like I personally think that they're just going way too fast, way too fast. But I don't know. Kids are smarter these days. Yeah, I, I guess, man. They they have to be something. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah. Uh. You picked the movie tonight, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are watching. Is that rude? I just jumped in like, Anthony, come on, man. What the fuck? What did no. you pick? No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to get those questions again like, why are you guys doing a podcast together? Yeah. Do you guys really hate each other? Oh, man. They don't like each other very the much. The shit that you guys say to each other. Fuck you, winter green <laughs> chewer. No. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go get a new bag. That's I'm a weird. In, that's a weird insult. <laughs> now uh, we are watching Craving, the 2023 movie directed by Jay Horton and uh, starring uh, Felissa Rose. <laughs> yeah, you sent me the. Uh, you sent me the trailer to it. Watched it, and so basically, what I'm gonna say, um, I might spoiler the movie for me but it looks like there's a bunch of people going to like an aa meeting and it looks like it's a setup and all of a sudden the town hillbillies start wanting to shoot up the bar or something and they're like hey who you know i think one of them was saying like hey there's a monster inside of there and i'm just guessing that it's their addictions to shit and then the hillbillies are actually going to be like whatever those hardcore straight edge Christians are like, Oh, you drank this weekend. Now we're going to kill you type of thing. Uh, Could be wrong. I mean, okay. I'll admit (laughs) I have seen the movie because I talked to Jay Horton, which that, that uh, interview will be out in three to four weeks from here through about three weeks. Okay. So math, 
uh, the math. Hours a day, seven days a week. I don't know. Well, I don't. We don't need to count the hours. <laughs> <laughs> but it, no, it, it was a really cool conversation, and basically, like that, that is one of the central themes of this movie is addiction, and I think, um, like for me, like it plays a very powerful personal touch Dude. because this movie is uh, like, in fairness, very narrative driven, very story. Like the characters, it's it's like when we watched X, uh-huh. the the characters and the character <laughs> development and where they come from and how they got here, all these things matter before we watch them. You know, die or not die, or old boobies, <laughs> or old boobies, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or Kid Cudi's <clears throat> rocket ship, the extra arm, his extra arm, uh-huh. yeah. Um, but no, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty solid flick. Yeah, um, it looks pretty solid, man. Like I. I guarantee I'm probably going to be able to like relate to some of this stuff. Like I've had a bunch of friends, you know, that have their own addictions and, you know, ruined a bunch of lives, man. And I remember we were minors. I don't even remember how old we were, like 18, 19. And uh, one of our buddies got busted for minor consumption. And so back then, to get that minor consumption, like to get your like probation or whatever shorter, is they made you go to AA meetings. <laughs> And so my buddy and I went to these AA meetings and good God, man, like it, it literally was nothing but chain smoking where you have a cigarette and then you use the last puff of that cigarette to light your next cigarette, to light your next cigarette. That's fucked. That and Coca-Cola classic 20 ounce bottles, no ice, just fucking Coke and cigarettes coca-cola classic and cigarettes can't say coke at a AA meeting but coke classic dude like going in there and so you know they do the they go around the circle and like okay tell your story tell your story tell your story and it came to like my buddy my buddy's turn and we're just like what the fuck do we have to say man like we gotta say something and so he's like yeah you know um, I just drink and, you know, we smoke some weed and this and this. And he's like, and, you know, that's it. And everybody's like, thank you. And then somebody's like, I was just like you. I didn't care if it was weed, meth, heroin, smack, anything. <laughs> We're just like, nope, not like us. Bang, pow, zip. <laughs> it was just <laughs> fucking going off. Dude, but like some of the addiction of, you know, people... You know, losing their house, their family, oh, like I believe everything. It. Even when we first moved out here to Vegas, that was the first rule was, dude, don't get into gambling, you know. But at the end of that meeting, like, oh, even before then, they start passing around like a tray, like a money tray. And so you have to give money to it. Otherwise, they're going to be like, really? You didn't give. You didn't donate. Because it's not like church where, like, they pass around the collection plate and you can, like, like shrimp hand in yeah, your pocket no. and then, like, Mm-mm. Yeah. So at the end, uh, we all, like, stand in a circle and hold hands. And then, like, they just shake the shit out of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> My friend and I were, like, like, being shook. That's the thing is I don't know anything about like AA or rehab or anything like that, except for watching 28 days. Good God. The Sandra Bullock movie. Mm-hmm. It was pretty entertaining. No, nah, man. <laughs> I doubt it was very realistic, but some of the shit dude, like, you know, we've had some friends where wake up, toke, uh, toke before you go to school, toke before you go to a movie. Awake and bake. Dude every fucking like it got to the point where um his mom sent us money because we were living together we're living at his mom's house and the mom got into a car wreck um like out of state and so luckily she was you know they had family there and the mom was sending home money and instead of buying like food and supplies for the house went and bought some drugs with it you know Mm -hmm. and i was like really and i was like well if you spend all that on drugs like i'm gonna go to like my girlfriend's house or like my other friend's houses i'm gonna just start crashing over there and shit because you know like everything you couldn't do anything without 
getting blazed up, man. I was like, oh, I got to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. But, yeah, so looks looks like it could be interesting. Yeah. And what the fuck? I brought a, what is it? Four, Four Roses, Roses bourbon. bourbon. This is really smooth. It's all right. I, I underestimated it. I think I did a 50-50 on my first pour. It's got a sweet aftertaste, you know? Yeah, but it doesn't. It's not one of those that like feels like you're in the aftertaste, <laughs> but it's very. It's it's a smooth taste. I should start shaving my chest before we record, so we can hear the the yeah. hairs just <laughs> bing bing bing. bing. <laughs> Take pictures before and after. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's right there. It's growing. Did you hear it? <laughs> Did you hear it? I'll, yeah. spur, I'll put our gain all the way up and just put a microphone right on my chest. Yeah. It's like, Brian, how come your heart's beating so fast? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. We should probably mention um, this week, uh, by the time this episode comes out, uh, you will get the conversation I had with um, Kevin Losani and Richard Tarasi. The directors of the Monster Mash. Ooh, not the song. No, not the song. Great song. What if it was? Yeah. Like actually, we did that too. Uh, oh, fuck. You knew Bobby Boris. That's the <laughs> fucking shit, dude. Damn, you no. did that when you were like three years old. The Monster Mash. You know what that song is about? I have no clue. Um, is I it think fucked it's about up? Like smashing. Is it? I want to say like I want to say just recently. Okay. A post that came I'll out. Believe it's like, it. You know what that song's about? And I think that it's about... I think it's about smashing It's about ass. getting it? Okay. I think it is. I think it's All right. about... You know? But yeah, we get, <clears throat> we have a conversation with them uh, this week. And then uh, also check out the website, mm-hmm. berated, berated movies, one single phrase, dot com. Yep. And... Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, movie ideas, you want to tell us how much you like us, how much we suck, um, we'll yeah. probably read all of them. Uh, I can't then, read, though. <laughs> uh, email us at beratedberatedmovies at gmail.com. Yeah. Also, check us out on Instagram, TikTok, uh, face, or Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Yeah. The Facebooks. The book of faces. The, you know, honestly though, man, I still I just can't get into that TikTok, man. I Everybody's know. like, you need to get onto it. You need to get on TikTok and Twitter. I was like, what the fuck? How am I gonna? What, am I gonna type out a paragraph on Twitter? Well, every Twitter doesn't day? share uh, links with anybody. That's the pain in the ass shitty part. I don't know. Ever since uh, Elon took over, good old Elon, Mr. Musk. Have you seen uh, that Chinese guy on Instagram? Who looks like Elon Musk, except he's Chinese. I mean, I'll believe it. Oh, I mean, my God. It's fucking... He's pretty funny. Because he started, <laughs> he's like, Hello, I'm Elon Musk. <laughs> and like he tries to talk like Elon Musk, dude. And he's like, I'm wealthy. Thank you. Give me gift. <laughs> and you're just like, what the fuck? That, that guy deserves a gift. That's, that's fucking that's hilarious, good. dude. That's Everything this guy does. And... It's just so funny because like, well, he found his thing, dude, and it does that whole thing where it's like cloning doesn't exist. And then there's a picture of (laughs) the Chinese Elon Musk. (laughs) Yeah, man. But uh, let's see. And then our uh, by the time this episode comes out, our our our, uh, merch store on Redbubble will be out. That'll be links on the website because I had to. Learn which hashtags to add in to increase visibility. For what? For our for our merchandise, because Redbubble requires that, and I had no idea which hashtags to use unless I'm using the same the same five for each one. I would. I, I'll probably just do that. Yeah. yeah. But uh, <laughs> how many hashtags can you have on it? As many as you want. All right. Then I you can send you over all the hashtags we use. You can fucking hashtag like the Rock. Hashtag no pay, no gain. Hashtag rock bottom. Hashtag do you smell what I'm cooking? I saw a pretty funny that people are just typing out hashtag now instead of using the symbol. I just want to do what Johnny did on uh, Cobra Kai and and just put hash brown. 
Yeah. Like I, I'm just some <laughs> grandfather <laughs> using the internet and has no fucking idea. Dude. <laughs> Speaking of Cobra Kai, I know they're making it that new season. Yeah. But so I bought Cobra Kai, the video game, you know. Oh, the one for the Switch, right? Well, they have it on Switch and PlayStation. Okay. Okay. They probably don't have it on, you know, Xbox, but. Um, Fuck you, Brian. <laughs> but, you know, like that one was all right. It, also, people with taste buds probably don't chew wintergreen gum. <laughs> they probably. I don't even know, man. It's such a delicious flavor. Could you? Yeah, man. But no, you okay. To like, say, you know, if you had like wintergreen, like a uh, mouthwash. I'd probably end up drinking it and be like, oh, shit, I did it again, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> or like if, you know, by the time we're like 70, 80 years old, if we could like legally change our wives' names to like Cheryl or something weird like that. I think Betty would hit me. <laughs> but you see, legally, she wouldn't know. Like you can go in all underneath that, right? And yeah. then... But then this is where it could get really funny. Is then you can just convince them that their whole life their name has been Cheryl, and you can already get like their driver's license and like their fucking yearbooks changed. Like, I mean, some people you out can over it. do that before that age. It just depends on what mental issues they have. Dude, I'm not saying that you should do that. I just because think that's that wrong. <laughs> I think that I think by the time you hit like you know 75, 80 ish. You should just have to change your name to like Cheryl or like Carl, you know? <laughs> so that when you do something wrong, it's like, damn it, Cheryl, the fucking rabbits are back. Which, or okay. Something. After this initial run of t shirts, I I think the next t shirt should be a Carl t shirt. We yeah. need the, uh, the, the illustrated Carl. Fuck, what do you think it looks like? I don't know, but I think we should have somebody figure that out for us. Hell yeah. Some squirrely ass hillbilly dude. Probably not. Doesn't have all his teeth for sure. <laughs> but yeah, man, I think change the name. That'd be hilarious. So <clears throat> I used to have this friend that was big into, uh, you know, not being sober of any kind. And I kept for the longest time, kept trying to convince him that he was like Scott Bacula. From fucking well, <laughs> quantum leap. From quantum leap, yeah, or uh, <laughs> NCIS New Orleans. Nope, quantum leap. I kept trying to convince him. I was like, "Dude, you're a time traveler, man." He's like, "Shut the fuck up." No, I'm not. Who went to like? Well, that's the thing is like Scott Bakula went to like the um, he uh, for NCIS New Orleans. He went to the uh, the Gambit School of Acting because the the guy that Taylor Kitsch, the guy that played gambit in uh x-men origins wolverine Mm -hmm. like you remember how he has that that uh southern draw that southern draw for like one line oh yeah literally one line and then he starts talking normally because he realizes how annoying it is to have to to use an accent that you don't have have you seen quantum mania i have not but like like Scott Bakula, I watched like the first episode of NCIS New Orleans, and he has this over exaggerated New Orleans accent, and then magically it goes away in episode two. Maybe he did the final leap because they were, just, or maybe they were just like, <laughs> Scott, you are a man of many talents. You're amazing. You cannot do a southern drawl. I'm thinking that he <laughs> just made that final leap home, man. <laughs> and he finally got back to his normal. But I kept trying to convince him so much. And still, what's messed up is like we have some buddies still, like our old town. And he's like, dude, I ran into him. And he's like, hey, you're this guy. And he's like, yeah, that's me. And he's like, don't you remember me? Like, we've been to school literally from kindergarten all the way up until like our junior year of high school. He's like, no, nah, <laughs> no, nah, I don't remember you. He's like, what are you talking about? Like, we literally like had sleepovers. We were friends with everybody. Like, it was like our tight group of people. No, I remember all of them, but I I don't remember you. And he's like, what the <laughs> fuck? And so we're just like, damn. Like, that's cold. I'm still 
still, I'm still going to give it the college try, man. I'm going to go every time I go back to that town. I hope I run into him and be like, "Did you make the final leap yet?" And he's going to be like, "Shut the fuck up! I am not <laughs> goddamn quantum leap, dude." If I get this to go through, man, oh, it's going to be amazing. That's pretty funny. <clears throat> All right, pretty funny. You ready to uh, take a break here? Yeah, I need to get another one. I think right. it went down, went down so much faster the second half of it. Oh, yeah. I Ooh. think it's because I just didn't stir it. I think you may not have. I you think got the you. bottom one because you gave yourself a hot shot. <sighs> yeah. All I can keep thinking of is the fucking Juicy J, where he's like, some, some, put a little hair on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> find that song during break. All right. Well, uh, we'll be back with the beginning of Craving. All right, and we're back with the beginning of Craving. <coughs> I'm not dying. <laughs> Brian took a, a strong sip. Well, you did the check, check, and I was like, tried to do a funny sound so it would click up. <laughs> Completely fucking backfired. All right, a junkie. <laughs> junkie slang. A narcotics addict, addict. Especially heroin. Really? Just the junkies heroin only? Well, I think it's it's a common term for <clears throat> yeah, heroin addicts. Yeah. You never you never hear somebody call an alcoholic a junkie. Uh sometimes. So we're in nineteen ninety eight. Brass junkie. <laughs> that junkie junkie. <laughs> <laughs> so, God, my buddy and I oh, all right. In I guess this is a bar. I don't know where we are right now. Yep. Riggs and Murtaugh just come into this bar. Yeah. It looks like a bar up. Yep. Jeez. Somebody got dis- disemboweled. Ugh. That's fun. But how long has it been? Like this looks has been like this for a couple of days and that stomach intestine looked hella plump. You did. Hella plump. This place looks tore up. Ew, is that a, just a foot? On the bar. Okay, there's a hand. All right. And okay, so the cop that's with the detective. Who, Riggs? Uh is that Riggs? Yeah. Um he was in I don't know if you remember this, he was in uh Camp Twilight. He was the director or the guy that was over uh dave sheridan's character oh yeah yeah that guy that's that guy you're never gonna be better than the guy that had almost no character or character development and just seemed to <laughs> like not exist and not exist Ew, so that is a uh a shoe on the bar that also has a uh foot in it Still. Yeah. Yep. So that's happening. <gasps> and there's some girl covered in blood in the corner. She's a survivor. She might make it. I mean, or get Hep C. God. <laughs> She's like covered in blood. I was like, all right, got some good news and some bad news. <laughs> You're gonna live, but you can you can never do contact sports or wrestle ever or donate again. Blood or donate blood. You also have AIDS. <laughs> and craving the night before it's a beautiful ass sunset man i know this is this is well shot man this is in alaska this is almost too classy for us it's it's very well shot that's that's entirely a compliment that was and we're back at the bar and Fucking George Ropez. <laughs> He's enthusiastically <laughs> talking about himself. He He's a conspiracy theorist. He's also Oh, Bigfoot conspiracy theorist. Physically hot. He's a cryptid. You can tell by yeah. his forehead. He's a sweaty man. And the bartender is giving him that look like mm-hmm. I wish you would shut the fuck up right now. Hoping oh, there's a guy named Jared apparently it's like don't encourage him so just took a shot you know I don't think I've ever 
gone up to a bar and been like, hey, bartender, give me one shot. And then just took it right there in front and be like, thanks. Yeah. And dipped. You know? Yeah. I think my shot taking. And here's Felissa Rose. Is like a social, you know? Yeah. Oh, his shot glass is full again, huh? Mm Mm-hmm. And Felissa Rose plays less the bar owner. Hmm. Did he say you'll have a dance on my dick? Oh, maybe he didn't. Funky town? It's not a place to live. (laughs) All right. Felissa just says she's 45. I mean... Who knows? And now there's some cowboy. Yeah. All right. So there's Felissa. And uh, the female or the blonde bartender. She can be Taylor. I don't know. She kind of looks like a generic Taylor Swift. Well, yeah, I was trying to think of it like a synonym for Swift. Right. Like uh, <laughs> that is also a short word. Sweep. <laughs> Taylor sweep. Taylor sweep. Damn, pouring a hell of Jameson drink. That's a heavy pour. That is beautiful pour. John Taffer would be on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> if she's giving that to, it looks like he's a ambulance chaser lawyer. Yeah. He's Hi, just are you hurting somberly <laughs> sitting there sipping his... his fucking warm Jameson. His, his, triple, uh, his triple shot of Jameson. It's like that shot. Oh. Oh, and um, they have the the Lord's Prayer. No, the Serenity, prayer. Serenity prayer. The Serenity Prayer. The uh, <clears throat> uh, the, the AA prayer. All right. Yep. And there's the an Illuminati coin in her. That's hand. not an Illuminati coin. <laughs> I'm pretty you sure. keep saying that it's not, dude. It's got the eye up there. The <clears throat> it, the it pyramid. Is, it is the coin you get for when your you sobriety. Join the Illuminati. Oh, that's a John Wick coin. <laughs> that's what the fuck's going on. <laughs> I thought we were watching Craving, not John Wick 5. God, Brian. <laughs> that looked like a... Dude, you know what that was? That was a fucking Pog Smasher. That is. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a Pog Smasher. I have some of those in my garage. Mm-mm. Yeah. I fucking... So I tried we're... to look for my Smashers, because like, I know for sure I kept them, and then probably just threw them away when I was like... You know, an adult. Yeah. But for sure, dude, fucking take a picture of those and fucking we'll post that shit. I will. And so then we see like a shot of somebody, like a shadow of somebody outside the bar. And we're back in the bar and a uh, cryptid guy is talking to, uh, I want to say he's like real life Woody. Yeah, for sure. He's a, he's a, he's a cowboy. Yeah, this is, so we'll call him Woody. Mm-hmm. Now he goes up and talks to this girl in like a, I don't know what you call that kind of hat, but. What the fuck is that hat? It's kind of dark. It yeah. looks like a cowboy hat. Kind of a cowboy hat. She's like, but she, so she's, he's trying to talk to her. It and looks like the hat from fucking Poltergeist. Yeah. That kind of hat. But she, and she's just wants to be left alone to work on her pitch. Because that's exactly where I go. To the bar. When I want to be left alone. And yeah, dress up in my Sunday best. Where everybody gets lubricated and social. <clears throat> yep. Wants to talk to each other and, and try to get it in. Dun, da, da, dun. Uh-oh. Especially if you're an attractive girl. And especially if you're in some hillbilly-ass town. Just go to the gay bar. And you have all your teeth. Yeah. But she's not family. So now we're so. outside. And, oh, yeah, uh, there's two dudes looking in. Yeah. You can just smell that something's going to go array. Array? Array. Yeah. Array. <laughs> array. <laughs> hooray. 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 It's going to go array. And then especially, why would you go oh, to a so, bar, a dark-ass bar, so, And too? she's famous or something. Because he said, I just wanted an autograph. So she's like a songwriter. Yeah, right. She's probably OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I heard a most fucked up story about OnlyFans this week. Like, there's a girl, and she had OnlyFans with her boyfriend, and they just start smashing, you know? 
and her stepdad was like one of her subscribers. Ew! <laughs> for like months, Ugh. and was telling her like, "Okay, don't do it in the shower. You know, don't do it in the bathroom. I'd prefer if you just did it in your bedroom or like on your bedroom floor." And like requesting like positions and all this other shit. And I don't know how, but obviously the mom found out and they got a divorce, thankfully. But yeah, what the fuck? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that's fucking gross. Dude. I'm going to throw up my mouth. Mm-hmm. So so now uh, Woody is talking to... Uh, Uh-oh. It's an armband. Or like, what, what does she have on her arms? What is it? That, those are like... Uh, it looks like she's from the fucking Billie Jean movie. Yeah. Where she's got... Uh, like the leather gloves that go up to her forearms, and she's got the ripped up shirt. Yeah. Wait, so he was talking to her, and now she goes into the bathroom, and they have a don't fucking. They don't have smoke. a smoke. Yeah, it's a don't fucking smoke sign, not a don't smoke sign. It looks like she has her uh, fucking Muay Thai like rope gloves on, and they dip them in honey, then dip them in glass. Oh yeah. But actually, what it kumite, looks like kumite, huh? <laughs> is it looks like. Ugh. So she's gonna do a line while somebody's dropping a deuce. Yeah. And she's But it looks like she literally has like black socks and she cut a thumb hole and her finger holes and then just put a shitload of like baby diaper pins up and down it. Yeah. So she's going into the bathroom to to do a bump. She does a bump again and a bump again and uh <laughs> And I'm pretty sure she's in the boys' bathroom. Oh, yep. yeah, she is, because that guy's beefing it in the, <laughs> in the stall. <laughs> I really wish they'd just, like, zoom in a little more on, like, his, like, facial articulations as he's grunting and just, God. like, pushing it out. Does the sound of the popping. <laughs> Uh-oh. Even now here, like, the, the water, like, the... The splash and <laughs> the, the splash. pop up. Oh, so now there's four people standing outside the bar, the bar, and it looks like at least two of them have a mask. And then it looks like one of the people went out to the bar and sit in their truck. And then somebody's to the side of the truck, and now there's a gunfire. So they turn the jukebox down. Oh man, they turn down the honk tonk boot and shoot and boogie, boot scoot and boogie. Uh oh. You know, like, there's another name, too. Like, it's probably the Sanders boys. They're always stirring problems up in this here. So here goes Les, Felissa Rose's character, to the door to... Is she holding a candlestick? No, I think it's a bat. This ain't motherfucking Clue. (laughs) It was Felissa in the parking lot. With a baseball bat. Uh, I'd say candlestick. That's not a candlestick. I mean... She goes to reach for the door... Srovery and opens it and goes out. Yep. And then a gun goes off. Zoom in on that exit side. And you see her hand. She's reaching back. And the in. cowboy's face. Wow, and she got half her face. That's not her. That's her. No fucking way that they, they was. They got half her face shot off. And the holes to the back of her fucking head, too. Jeez. Was that Felissa? That's Felissa. Damn. That was quick. <clears throat> That's a good touch because, like, She's when you. probably not going to come back from that one. Like, when you see Felissa or, you know, like, you know, somebody like, the, uh, like yeah. her, like, you expect them to be around for a while. Yeah. So it, that, it is shocking. What the fuck? So now all of a sudden these people come into the bar holding guns and like your great great grandpa's six shooter. And they're going to just drag her body off? Wow, that's like. Good God. That blood was like thick and soppy. It was like paint. It's not going to get out of that rug. <laughs> oh, no. For and now we have sure. like Brigitta Nielsen. Right? It kind of <laughs> looks like. Well, I was going to say she looks like a fucking. Either from like the Red Sonia years, yeah. Like that looks like Brigitte Nielsen or fucking whatever Bill Kill. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, no, Uma Thurman. No, the one with the one eye. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking, I can't remember her. This alcohol. Is it Daryl Hannah? Is it? I think it is. 
I don't know. I don't fucking remember. Who's that big girl from fucking Conan the Barbarian that had fucking Dolph Lundgren's haircut? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't think I. I don't think I really watched Conan the Barbarian, or it's been years. She for sure is the one that like you'd go into a bar and be like, "Who's the toughest man here?" And she's like, "I am." I was like, "All right, help me move my car." <laughs> and if I go and push it. So now we got a bunch of people outside, and they boarded up the doors. Yeah, so they like locked them in basically with. So they locked. So the invaders came in with the the people, but then okay. So now we're outside again. It looks like it was like a botched robbery, and they're running in there like they're gonna take him hostage. Yeah. So there's some dude and a wife beater, and they kick him over. He was one in the car, and they got a knife. Oh wow! They're Jesus peeling his shoulder skin off. Did he have a tattoo there? Maybe it was really nice. Jeez. God. It's like covered in blood. Throw some dirt on it. <laughs> I, I feel like he's dead. Like you throw some dirt on it, you're just throwing dirt on a dead guy. I mean, I think I you know, you can probably get a road rash on your on your deltoid and you survive. Not him. That was his good wife beater too. Yeah. So now we're back in the bar. With people still holding their guns against people's heads. It's like you could literally just... You don't have to hold the gun at somebody's head at this point. They know you have it. They're not going to fuck with you, right? No, probably not. Because like sometimes you think this is in Texas. With all the hee-haws and the... And the... What the fuck? <clears throat> Five-gallon hats. Yeah. What? So now... So, uh... George... <laughs> Sorry, George Ropez, was that him? Yeah, it was George Ropez. He's talking to the bartender, and he's like, give me the gold coin. I told you, it was it's more of a a John Wick coin. <laughs> he's like, give me the coin, and I'll kill these people. And so she gives him a kiss on the coin, ha, huh, and <laughs> then puts the coin in his hand, and they stand up and walk to the bar together. So somebody calls, and then... Uh, oh, I want to say this. Gets pissed. This this is like this is Carl Urban. It's more like Carl Urbane. <laughs> he fucking gets mad and yanks the phone off the wall and throws it. Like yeah, you know how much a landline is these days. I know more than a cell phone. I know that, that's some dedication. It's really weird. But this is ninety eight, so a little different. It's oh, like so the, now the tail end years of the landline being important. I don't know, man. I'm thinking about getting a landline. But then I just don't want it to always be like... Bring. We got the guy behind the bar in the uh, Canadian tuxedo. Boom. Uh, who? God, he's being rubbed down by... He, he's like grabbing at himself and like itching like he's uh, like having a, a craving. Mm-hmm. Literally. And it doesn't help that he's wearing a Canadian tuxedo with a wool lining. You know, it's that probably, shit's hot as fuck. Look, it's got definitely hot. Well, it's probably hot. The air conditioning probably doesn't work. The guy was wearing a wife beater. That woman just took off her shirt. She's wearing a tank top, but that guy's still rocking a wool lined jacket. Yeah. Uh, you know who does that? <laughs> Junkie monkeys. Yeah. So now, monkeys. all the invading people are on the the bar side. Well, a couple, except for a couple of them. Everybody else is like in a line by the pool table. So there's five patrons. Wait a second. Oh wait, and then there's Taylor. Uh... <laughs> no, I think Taylor Sweep was the bartender. Yeah. No, then there's the girl who's sitting there writing her novel. Well, her, is she writing a novel or is I she a, a songwriter? F- Maybe she's writing a fucking haiku. <laughs> I'm but being. I, she I don't, sees this robbery going on. I was gonna do a haiku joke, but then I realized I don't know how to do haikus. Five seven five, <laughs> five <laughs> syllable seven <laughs> syllable five syllable. Yeah. So now they're like patting down all of the patrons. So they're bad guys on the inside and bad guys on the outside. That sucks. You've been infiltrated. For sure, that jean jacket dude is fiending. He's looking like Tyrone Biggins. But so they're they're like the cops must be on their way. They must have heard Why? all the noise. It's like you're in the desert. 
And you're, like I said, you look like you're in Texas. You're in the middle of nowhere. But. And, and so. There's the near north lights. So there's this uh, this uh, very intense Asian lady. Is she? Or Hispanic. I, I can't tell. Um, but very intense woman. That's better. Uh, and she's like, oh, fucking all up slit in, your throat. All up in George Lopez's face. Yep. I thought she was going to be aggressively kiss him. No, she's she looks softly. She's Asian. The other lady is probably Hispanic. Maybe half half. Maybe. Who knows? So somebody is hidden under. So we're in the bathroom now. So somebody's under the sink. That dude just kicked open the bathroom door to find fucking Captain's log. (laughs) (laughs) Captain's log. I beefed this motherfucker. (laughs) Enjoy my stank. He's like, this isn't a truck stop. (laughs) But what the fuck? So now there's one of the bad guys is looking into a mirror and having a flashback. Okay, yeah. So this is uh, Carl Urbane. Dead body? That looks like shitty Wolverine. Yeah. Like or Hugh Jackman. (laughs) (laughs) But he's having a flashback of... uh, Hugh Hackman? (laughs) (laughs) There we go. Jew Hackman. Uh, but he has a flashback of some body parts on a bed. And blood all over the mirror and his face. You're never going to get that blood out of that comforter. You know that anti- uh, Sealy Posturepedic? <laughs> that looks like a Sealy fucking King. motel, dude. <laughs> right? Wait a second. I thought you can kill hookers in motels. You can oh. if you're in California because it's covered under the Geneva Convention. Boom. And then you get all that money. But, you told me. So the famous girl says, I can't be a hostage. Okay, it's just that easy. Why don't you fucking think of that next time, Anthony? Yeah. Just if like, you're ever being robbed at a bank, just going to be like, hey, legally I can't be a hostage, I, I can't be a so hostage. I'm going to leave. Actually, there was kind of something <laughs> like that. There was a video. Um, this dude like fucking held up a taco truck or some shit like that. And there was this girl that walks up with her headphones on and she's like in her phone looking at stuff. And then Uh she notices the guy with the gun and then she just like fucking pieces the fuck out, you know, and just walks away. And she's you can tell she's like in her like night clothes, like her 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 sleep pants Uh and her shirt. (laughs) And that was it. She said, all right, bye. And and the guy let her go. (laughs) Uh So now we're on CCTV camera. Yeah. And there's a camera outside, and there's, God, if he was still alive, Kung Fu and his crew of four. Is that what, David Carradine? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn, is that Slipknot? The band Slipknot's outside. <laughs> you got all these, like, fucked up masks. God damn. Yeah. And you know, that's like a dad in, like, eight generations. All yeah. of them got their wife pregnant when they were eight years old. Uh oh. They says your time is up. And they cut the cord and the power goes out. Man. But you know there's generators everywhere in this motherfucker. Well, yeah, because they, they the power <clears throat> probably goes out in the middle of the desert like a lot. Well, here's something. The people outside boarded the doors so they couldn't come out. So now why are the people on the outside trying to get in? That you are surrounded. And he's talking through a bullhorn. <sighs> So, I don't know what, I don't know if you knew this, Anthony, but surrounded means that you circle around that place. Yeah, but they all seem to be on one all side. five of them in the camera. In the camera on one side. Huh. Yeah. All right. Apparently surrounded in <laughs> I mean, Alaska, Texas. We're, we're kind of like arguing semantics here, but I think it's a small enough building that they could get to the other side by the time you broke out. Nah. You don't think so? Nah, <laughs> they gotta play a song first, and they gotta do a fucking standing ovation. But an doom, doom, encore. Doom, 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 Good doom, doom, God, doom. fuck! <laughs> and now everybody's on the inside, like they ain't gonna do it. So now they're on the outside. You got one hour to do what? Oh, they're like, I don't get it. What do they want? Now yeah. the fucking jean jacket dude's hot. So he takes his uh, his jacket off. 
And now there's two chicks, the ones and that we is, don't know what race they are. He is sweating <laughs> he's hard. It's like core. he's cutting weight. He's got a fight tomorrow. Yeah. That he has to fucking drop down a weight class for. I got to get to 114 for the bum fights. Dude. He's like, I walk around in a comfortable 137. <laughs> he's like, how the fuck am I going to do this? So now the bartender, or blonde bartender, we're back in, back in 82, and she's watching. Oh. <gasps> Like a large man, whale on a on a small mustached man. I mean, it also looked like he was going to uh, fuck start a skull, but well, yeah, I damn. thought there was going to be some fellatio going He's on there. Just, like it was an adult male and male movie. Yeah, good. <laughs> wow, God, he is this going, guy to is just town. going to town. His ground and pound game. Damn. Have you ever punched somebody so hard that you separated the skin on their mouth from I've, like the two sides of it the, like a Joker mouth? Yeah, like the up and down. Damn! Like, if that makes sense. Yeah, it looks like he slid his face like Joker. He punched him so hard he slid his face. It's my, fucking crazy. My Taekwondo master. I got into a fight one time at a bar, and I hit this guy as hard as I could. And the guy just like brushed it off like I didn't even do anything. And I was like, oh, fuck, I'm going to die. You know, the hardest I've ever punched anybody in my entire life. And this guy was just like, nope. And then my master fucking punched him once and split his shit all right here. The guy put his fingers up underneath the skin and wiped it like that. And I was like, how the hell did you do that? But when I did it, like nothing happened. I guess his technique. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't know. So now we're still back in 1982, and this is just a group of hitmen. It looks like Adele, no. Seal, and that big dude who just beat the shit out of that person. And they're and there's talking a about, dude in a dog kennel. Talking about lack of self-control and chocolate. He says, you're borderline diabetic. All of them look pretty in shape. Yeah. You know? Oh, I do see. Is there a rubber tube around her arm for some reason? There is. Maybe. I think she's about to shoot. Either that. Either that or, or she, she really. she has a bunch of scrunchies. Either that or she likes like a numb arm. Right. She's like, I like not feeling the rest of she my arm. She likes just giving strangers to people. <laughs> you know what that is? It doesn't count if it I can't doesn't. feel it. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> nope. I think it's part of her shirt, which is a pretty stupid shirt. I've seen those before. Oh yeah. The, the, Why the fuck you have that dumbass shit right there? Okay. The only reason I know this is because my wife told me what this is. It's called the cold shoulder. No, I think that's what happens when you piss your wife off. No, that that too. Cold shoulder. That too. I've I've gotten my fair share of those. But no, it's called the cold shoulder. Basically, it's like an open portion on the shoulder. Why? I don't know. So your dirty pits can have some air. Going through, so he just pulls out about three, four kilos of. I'm thinking it's just baby powder. Damn, and his fucking great great grandpa's gun and bucks her right in the head. Jeez, that's like a desert eagle. Damn. Takes out the the bald dude that was going or going to town on. So now the other girl goes, holy shit! On on the on the guy that got a split face, and now the girl. Uh, using, I, the Adele is that girl. a coconut? Uh, no, that's an ashtray. It's a cigarette ashtray. And, and blasts his face with it a bunch of times. And Seal is just smirking out like, you know, I knew I loved you. And then there's some guy in a dog kennel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This, that's this, what I said. I'm pretty sure this is a porn set. This feels like uh, a scene from Pulp Fiction. Bring out the gimp. And then he comes <laughs> out of the dog kennel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But now then these two, this is Bonnie and Clyde. She hands him the Desert Eagle. Well, he hands her the gun and she points it at him. He's like, "Yeah, oh uh, yeah, I just Which, gave you that." I, I think they're in on it together, but there's got to be some trust there if you're going to hand somebody a gun. Oh, so now we're back in modern time, and this is oh, so that was Brigitte. Damn, uh, that's Sarah Connor. It says <laughs> Sarah Connor. <laughs> <laughs> That's who the fuck it is. <laughs> Damn, four roses. <laughs> He's like, I've come back to help you. Why does everybody have the same fucking futon bed on the ground? I know. I've got the same shit to go camping. 
Except mine's gray. So now we're, yeah, we're back in. So this kid has got to be the guy who's sweating his ass off in the corner. They look similar. <laughs> He's been sweaty and itchy his whole life. Well, no. I'm, and here I'm not, we are fucking just judging him, thinking that he was just hot. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, like, <laughs> they look facially similar. Like, they kind of look the same. Maybe. Maybe I'm, they're family. You know, God, he looks like he's going through it. Like he's got the Twitter patience. Maybe he's having asthma attack, and they need fucking Mel Gibson to talk him out of it. Well, you just got to pay a thousand dollars because Martin Screlly decided to to buy the stock in uh, in uh, allergy shots. Just don't breathe. So now she's comforting him as he. Uh, is going through uh, like with the withdrawals. These are withdrawals. <clears throat> I like how they zoomed in on that little fucking bag, that bag of smack, and flicked it too. Yeah. So now we're back out in the the outside of the bar, God. and one of the guys in the mask asked him, "Why are we here?" Damn, <laughs> that guy's going to die pretty soon because he's wearing plaid up top, and then camouflage on the bottom talk about hashing fucking colors or whatever the fuck it's called oh like uh color clashing whatever yeah i like how they keep just taking their mask up and down so gross now the two girls that are i'm thinking one's asian one's hispanic uh, maybe maybe white nah she's got that olive toned skin uh oh! But she's the one with the attitudes. Like she's getting up in everybody's face. She could be. Wow! Damn. She she fucking decked. Uh, she either decked him or Muay Thai elbowed his ass. That was a punch. So I'm guessing those two girls are in a relationship. That was uh, George Lopez. George Lopez just got rocked the fuck mm-hmm. out. Well, he he's obviously never been in a fight because she had so much wind up on that. Oh yeah! All you got to do is like. Like, move like... <laughs> no shit, don't like, get me. Like, three inches to the left? But maybe she plays hockey. She looks and like fucking Tannis from... Carl Urbane and... Uh, <laughs> and the lady from Terminator. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sarah Gono. Kara uh, Saunders. <laughs> Kara Saunders are arguing. We should have done this. Yeah, this seems like a really fucking dumb idea. Like you're so gonna are they robbers? You're gonna come into a bar at, where people are outside uh, because there's a monster, right? It looks like there was gonna be a robbery, but then while they were doing the robbery, the people on the outside were already planning on murdering everybody on the inside. Yeah. So now we're back in '82 with Sarah. And Carl Urbane, kid, and the kid, and then we're back in Iowa time. All right, it keeps cutting back and forth. But whoever kid it is, probably looks like he's having an asthma attack, or he just took way too much Fenny, <laughs> and he's going through something. I think that's called dying. What the fuck? Now we're just in that house, and every single wall is just like painted with blood. blood. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, how many bodies do you think are in that house? Jeez. Are they just all remembering, like, hey, remember last week we murdered that entire family? That was a good day, man. <laughs> it's, it's, like, like a, it's a fucked up thing, but yeah. That's what the fuck it seems like they're doing. Uh-oh. And now... The, the the silver-haired, well-combed man on the outside is uh, giving them the 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 arm the tap, uh, on, the the arm, the tap on the watch that isn't there. Like, Tunes time's up. up. Better hurry the fuck up. So here's the thing that kind of gets me upset, okay? Yeah. There's at least ten of these people inside the bar, and there's five people outside. So you could just overpower them. I mean... Unless my math is wrong. Okay, I see that. But at the same time, um, if you've ever watched the menu. No. With, um, what is it, John Leguizamo, Ray Fiennes, there's a bunch of fucking people, Anna Taylor-Joy. 
um like a bunch of who's who but like for for a good portion of that movie mm-hmm. i'm gonna spoiler the shit out of this so it's okay um you should have seen it by now if not it's on max or Damn hbo it. max or whatever it is when you listen to this okay. um uh for a good portion of that movie they could have overpowered the kitchen staff yeah and they could have just taken them out because they were obviously the targets of this kitchen staff and he even says that at the end he's like you could have taken me out earlier by force if you wanted to yeah like (laughs) so i think it's the fear like fear is an overriding factor that's fight or flight all these people are fucking a bunch of well, that's the thing. It's like, didn't we kind of talk about this with uh, John, uh, John, Eis- John Eisberg? Hell yeah, we did. Like, like, the biggest man in the fight isn't always the toughest man in the fight. Which I just fucking said with my Taekwondo master. Yeah. So much bigger than him. His hands are bigger than mine, though, which is fucking really weird. Which, that's also an interview you can catch on berated, B-rated conversations. Sorry, go ahead. Done. Sorry, I had to throw that plug in there. Nah, that dude. When he popped that dude, I was like, holy fuck. Is in lockup with the heroin. So now we're... Okay, so this guy was out involved in the kid's life too. The one who's sweating his uh, his butt Damn. off. Or his ass off in the... But it's uh, so funny that he's sweating it. And obviously going through withdrawals. It's like, here... Drink some hot fucking Jack Daniels. No. But, like, if you're addicted to heroin, alcohol doesn't touch you. I mean, maybe. Maybe you go to sleep with it. But but if I was like, mm, what kind of tea is this? It's not. I just boiled Jack Daniels. <laughs> I'd be like, good God. But it's like, it's, <clears throat> it's like, I know. I That's know weird. You- the smackhead's name is Hunter. I know you need fuel because you're a Formula One car, but here's some 87. Uh, Doesn't really do anything for you, right? No. Nah. Exactly. I think it'd have the opposite effect because they're sitting there needing a withdrawal and they're just like, fuck, I'm drinking boiling Jack Daniels. Where has my life gone wrong? And they're contemplating like, fuck, maybe I shouldn't do this anymore. And then that's how they fix them. So they ask, when's the last time you fixed the sweaty kid? Um, He's like, fixed what? He hasn't been to work in six months. <laughs> He's a fucking plumber. Ting. <laughs> 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 we need a fucking drum thing. We do. <laughs> For every swing and a miss joke we do. So what? Now the girl's being nice. The so, so she's asking, like, she says, no, I'm not holding. But then why would you ask if you know nobody around you is holding? Maybe she's just nosy. Maybe, Maybe she's she, she's just trying to like stir the pot. Oh, she says, "Look, if the kin doesn't make it, who cares?" See, kids, if you're listening to our episode, first off, you shouldn't be, and second off, don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Could you imagine how I f- mean fucked up? <gasps> a little bit of coke leads to. I thought you were gonna make a little bit of coke okay. No, 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 no. That, That's a story for a different episode. Like the weekends, maybe. No, that's that's a story for a different episode. No, and not my story. I, I've never done coke. Um, no, like a little bit, a little bit of coke leads to a lot of coke, and that's not mm-hmm. the fucking dare program. That's real yeah. life. Because nobody ever, more. nobody ever started on Tony Montana amounts of coke. Wait a second. So now it's the two girls. So this is uh, the Hispanic girl and the Asian girl. For sure, Asian. And like, I want to make fun of being like, hey, you know how I know they're in a relationship? Because the one of the each other's is hair. wearing a fucking chopped off plaid shirt looking like she's just going to go chop a tree down. And the other one's in her underwear. Yeah, I mean, that too. I mean, do you, do you hang out with your friends in your underwear? I'm in my underwear right now. <laughs> Only. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that during the podcast. When you came over, you were just like, Brian, where the fuck are your pants? <laughs> like, it's so much more comfortable. <laughs> Damn. You're wearing shorts. <laughs> Let's not make this weird. <laughs> but no shirt. Oh. 
I spent all day not trying to scratch. Or trying not to scratch, but not a mess in the house. What the But fuck? nothing worked. You know what's messed up? What the fuck? Is there blood dripping onto the camera? I think so. That's or it's like cool. it's like a filter in front of the uh, the shot. Yeah, I feel like we're getting like a almost like a Kill Bill kind of sequence. Yeah, but what's really messed up is like, what if all of them just have fucking like chicken pox? And they're just fiending for calamine lotion to stop the itch. <laughs> and here we are fucking judging them, thinking they're addicts. Or if they just have fucking permanent shingles. Wouldn't that make for a really good movie? It would be. Yeah. Just complete. Like, who was that author who's like, oh, she has a face like a horse and she smells like shit. And she's ugly as fuck and she's big as this. But I love her. The entire poem is just dissing this woman. <laughs> And the very like last little bit, it's like, but I love her. <sighs> See, boom, we just be going this whole thing, and that little package is just fucking lotion. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's powder lotion. <laughs> yeah, baby powder. <laughs> you had to, you had to try to figure that one out in your <laughs> head. Throw it on it, You're like powder lotion. Dude, what like talcum powder? And then you get cancer. <laughs> Anthony, do you see all these people? They're all bad guys together. And it's as soon as somebody says something, they're so trigger happy. They instantly just grab the gun and start pointing at people. Yeah. Like if you had a gun, I was like, hey, Anthony, I got to go take a piss real fast. Then all of a sudden you grab a gun and point at me. I'd be like, what the fuck, bro? I just got to go piss. Because literally, the girl just went into the bathroom. So now like forearm gloves lady from earlier is talking to... Uh, the Hispanic girl and tells the violent girl, the violent girl and tells her like, you know, your your girlfriend's hot. Cause that's, you should tell a girl who just knocked the fuck out of Jorge Lopez. Yeah. Like let's, let's, let's tell her that her girlfriend is hot because yeah. yeah, Because every other movie that has ever had a psycho that has a girlfriend or a significant other and you, they're not them insanely jealous. Yeah. Ever. At all. Whatsoever. Yeah. Uh-oh. Now so we're now, back outside. And, and Brigida <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Sarah Connor and fucking whoever. And, uh, and, and Sweaty Guy. Damn. And now we're back in the bathroom and Violent Girl just knocked out fucking... Didn't see that coming. Sock arms. Didn't see that coming. Damn. Not at all. What the fuck? You mean you just pissed off a violent person? And they hit you? And they hit you. What? That doesn't happen. Never. I'll so be damned. So our silver haired guy, he has quite the pronounced nose. Yeah, he does. And he it does. keeps zooming in on like these missing posters. Yeah. Um And it looks like it's the same guy, except Oh, he's been Following, it's like all these pictures. He's he has that whole like billboard, yeah, and it has like the pictures and the red yarn and a picture and a sticky note and a red yarn and everything like that. So we're we were in like eighty. We're in eighty one now, and he is that had to be in nineties, dude, because now we're in eighty one. His hair is dark brown. Oh yeah. Uh Oh, he comes in and looks around the corner. And now he's thinking about it in real time. I, I mean, Bobby Jackson, <laughs> tattoo arms. Uh, did my son write that note? Look at that fucking handwriting. I know. What the it, fuck. It looks like it looks like children's handwriting, dude. That shit looks like a kid who you're trying to teach how to write. <laughs> now, and the A dyslexic. is a circle that starts. Damn. And loops before you get to the end. So he's l- remembering all these dead people in his house. I'm guessing that was his wife who was. Okay, I'm just going to say this. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So he, now he's looking at pictures of what looks like a monster. He's drawing those. But it looks like he was married to the, a black woman. And that kid that keeps that's in the flashback, 
he's clearly has he's mixed. Yeah. And then the adult that's having the freak out is mixed. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if the because they're everything's connected somehow. So I wonder if that's his son that's inside the bar going through withdrawals with the Canadian wool line tuxedo. So it's almost as if <clears throat> he feels responsible for this monster that he created. Yeah, what if he did? You know, they say some people say that's how Bruce Lee died, man. His dad never faced his fear, and then his fear got really, 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 really big. And then in that movie Dragon, Bruce Lee fucked that dude up, and he had to fight his own demons and his dad's demons. And then they say that, I don't know what happened, but one of the demons must have got him. So now we're in an intense moment with uh, George Lopez and the blonde bartender. Everybody's playing pool. Yeah. Well, uh, you want to take a break here? Violent girl just kicked out of the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. She kicked my ass. <laughs> That's what the fuck she said. And she just got kicked out of the bathroom together. Yeah. Like, That's fucked up. That is. Like, you just go into the bathroom, you know, like, well, thinking okay. that something's going to happen. Maybe but we, instead of something happening, you get fucking popped in the mouth. If, if we're all going to be in this tiny bar together, <clears throat> we can express some door etiquette. That's That's not the end of the world. So, for instance, you know, I'm a shy pooper, shy farter, you know, but there's got to be rules like here. Like, okay, look, we're going to go into this bar. We're going to rob it. Do not take a shit in there because we're going to be locked in there for a while. If you need to piss, good. If you need to take a dump, you better hold it. <laughs> right? Like, that's etiquette in this. Like, no dookie dragons yes. in the urinal. Eggs. <laughs> Nobody's going to spread their butt cheeks, okay, and let go of some chocolate hot dogs. But that's what, like, my brother, when he had to, when he was working for some company and they were touring, they had their big tour bus and they said the number one rule, and I've heard this too about a bunch no of people. No poops on the bus? No twos. No fucking bombs. <laughs> like, what? No what bombs you, in the bus. Where you got to go? Then you fucking better pull over. Hopefully there's a. A rest stop somewhere. I mean, yeah. You know, but he just told me a story last week. I mean, that's the thing, though, is like, if you've had a good amount of coffee. Nope. Like, here's a things question. are going to start flowing. Oh, here's a question before we jump off and go to fucking refill these. Have you ever just taken a dump outside? Not that camping. Is a, that's a good question. Like a non-camping outside dump. Yeah. Like, we we want to know if you have. If you ever. Yeah. So, no, I'm asking we wanna you. Know. Me? Yeah. Um. Yes. Nope. Well, okay. Yes and no. So, um, I have a buddy. And he said that he was driving over this side of town before I lived on this side of town. He said he was driving around this side of town before all this development. And he said all of a sudden he got the TBBGs. <laughs> and he had to just hurry up and pull over <laughs> and blow it up in someone's like side yard. I mean, I guess, yeah. And so I was like, that's fucked up. And so then what's even more messed up is we were driving together and he's like, Wait a second. And he gets this look on his face. He's looking around. He's like, oh, my God. He's like, that's the fucking house. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, remember that story I told you? I mean, having to fucking blow it up in someone's front yard or side yard. I was like, what the fuck? Like, we're the middle of nowhere. Like, what are the goddamn odds? He had like a poop flashback. Dude. Like, it was like a tingle, his spidey sense. Some poopy PTSD. Dude. So, my brother, I'm pretty sure, I think that he said it. We've been drinking a lot. I appreciate sure that he said it. They were on their tour bus. And someone's like, I got to go. And they're just like, there's nowhere around. So they fucking just pulled the bus over. The guy had to run over to the middle of somewhere. I mean, hopefully they have baby wipes. Because if are you're. Baby wipes biodegradable? I, does it fucking matter at that point? I'm just saying, like, I'm not worried about the earth at that point. I'm worried about the cleanness of my cheeks. Yep. See, that's why. 
I wake up, I do my morning 30 minute, let gravity help me out, <laughs> and then I take a shower and wash, and then if I need to have explosive diarrhea later on the day, nope, I tie my butt cheeks together, <laughs> and nothing comes out. See? Fucked up. But, all right. All right. I think with that... God damn. Let's take a break. What a fucked up episode. If you made it this far into it. Yeah. <laughs> Usually we talk like this at the beginning of it. I know. You get a special treat this fucking episode. Poop, Jesus. poop, poop. <laughs> Good God. All right. Well, we'll be back with more of... 4434. Yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs> uh, <laughs> craving. All right. And we're back with more of... Craving. We're starting at forty four <laughs> thirty four. For those of you following along with us, all right. Oh yeah, she just got ass kicked out of that bathroom. Now they're talking. What the fuck? Which, okay, I've seen people like kick their way in to a bathroom, but I've never seen somebody like kick their way out of a bathroom. It's a very weird. See, I saw exit. Uncle Bill throw people out of the house, but never saw somebody throw people out of the bathroom. But that's because Jazz was, or DJ Jazzy Jeff was was very annoying. He was just trying to get it, man. I know. Trying to shoot a shot. Well, yeah, don't shoot your shot at Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hillary, she, she didn't she get around though, man? She's banging. Oh, so now here we go. We're talking to this hillbilly with the big ass fucking cowboy hat. That's Woody. Oh yeah. Like Molotov cocktails from the bottles. There was a snake in my boot. We fucked up. <laughs> my wife tells me a story when they were younger and they hid Easter eggs. Like they hid an egg inside of like uh, the dad's shoe and they never found it until weeks later. Ew. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's fucked up. It's going to smell so Dude. terrible. They probably didn't find it because they were looking for the egg, but because the smell was overpowering the room, they're like, what the fuck is that smell? Dude, it's like doing an upper decker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're back outside. And, and keep saying. and uh, Oh, we're in a flashback now. Apparently. You're saying time's ticking. Oh, yeah. And the old so, man says, it's got to be hungry by now. Somebody's name is Carl. What, 82? We're is back in 82. Still? No, I think this is 81. 81, 82, one of those. I don't know. Um, but they're in the bloodstained room. Like, it has to be hungry by now. Like, like basically, they're just like feeding this monster to keep it quiet, more or less. That's the, what the intention I'm getting here. Uh, I, I mean... Maybe it's not like the movie Saw, where it's like, "Hey, guess what? You fucking chose to have a shitty life." Damn, and he's got like that, the silver outlining tooth. Like, what yeah. fucking good does that do? Doesn't fucking make any sense at all. Yeah, like I don't know. Oh, so it was. Oh, that the was black his. One that's dead is his wife. It was his wife. That was murdered by the monster. Ooh, so now Sill, the other black guy, is like, I loved her too. Who the fuck is that? Maybe it was like the the brother or something? No. I don't know. I'm thinking there, what is it? Uh, a polymorphin triangle love triangle. <laughs> Why our powers combined. <laughs> we, see, but then what's messed up is when they have the kid... They really do need to get that that uh, that DNA test. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you fucking don't know. Got to go to Maury. Mm-hmm. You are not the father. <laughs> and it's always so. They're like, when those chicks act like that, and you're like, I wonder how come they didn't want to be the father. Yeah. Hmm. But I like Which, how <laughs> okay, that's always my favorite though. When they is, go back, like and shit. is yeah, like when when the woman is so terrible and so awful to this guy, and he sits there and he like gives back a little bit, but he's taking most of it, mm-hmm. and he's and he's not saying all of the words that you would be saying if we were not on camera. Exactly, and, it, and it's like, and then. Then he hears you are not the father and celebrates like he just threw the the winning touchdown of the Super Bowl. 
Uh huh. <laughs> but what is also weird is when the flashback, she has a bra hanging on the door and then panties on the closet door right beside it. But then they're all murdered everywhere. Yeah. So that's what I do. I usually murder somebody very, very, very brutally and then hang their underwear up around their walls. I know. It's a weird touch. But maybe she Uh-oh. hung it there. I mean, it's just weird. Yeah, it's weird. I let it dry out, air out before. So the black girl, we're now in the oh, modern she's gonna time. Oh, going to give a, a Xanax. We're now in modern time. The The girl with the sock gloves just grabbed two pool balls. I got a, She had some Zanny bars. Yep. <laughs> just grabbed two pool balls and is going over to, <laughs> to Kara Saunders, who's taking care of the Canadian... Suit, dude. I, I love her description of the lesbian couple. I did the, see it. her crazy ass that that crazy ass bitch behind you and her girlfriend. Ooh, the one who's getting up in everybody's faces. Yeah, the one that's standing up right now, getting ready to fuck you up again because you just called her a crazy ass bitch. It's like yeah, I hate like. Oh, so she's got the the pool balls and it looks like she's gonna try to do something shady. And so Sarah Connor grabs a gun and puts it in her face. But here's the thing. If you just got your ass whooped by that person in one punch, why are you going to sit there and try to talk shit again? And now she's coming over and she's going to whoop your ass again. Yeah. And now this time her girlfriend stands up. But why would you do a favor to pick a fight? And I don't want to be messed up, but that girl probably knows some kind of martial arts. Yeah. Like you can't like, judge a book by the like cover. Fucking flip your ass on the floor. Yeah, we don't know what martial arts, but God damn it, I really hate the great grandpappy's gun. <laughs> this, this, it's like, like fucking who's that? Yosemite Sam. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you're about to shoot it, and like the flag's about to come out. So messed up. <laughs> oh, so now we're three days before this going on. And so the violent girl, violent girl, is in the car. She's like, "Don't fuck with me." And she sees the dude with the split face from earlier that got his ass whooped. So, oh, bad that was the okay. Wait, that was the guy from way back. Yeah. Okay. The the bald headed dude. So what the fuck? The old man did is like yeah. a private investigator. The old man's a private investigator, and he. Is giving her photos of it. But yet the old man is on the outside of the bar telling them they're going to kill them if they don't come in. I like how the old man hasn't updated his car since 1981. Oh, no. Because car payments. Because car payments. He's still paying it off. (laughs) Well, no, because he's like, I don't want to pay another car payment. I I got shitty credit. (laughs) And the payments were so high. I can't go to CarMax. <laughs> no, just about the locks. You know, like those old rubber locks that were like an inch wide. Yeah. And then they have like the thumbprint on it that you can grab it for grip and pull it up and down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now she's like, what's in it for you? So I don't getting know like what the fuck they're talking about. Intense stare down. They're doing something kind of skeezy. Make out. Uh huh. She's thinking about it. Make out <laughs> her sideburns. <laughs> Pet his oh, sideburns. Please, Gail. I've seen the photos, and now we're in real time. Photos of you and Carl. Carl was that big black dude. Seal. I still like Seal. Uh oh. Whenever I hear somebody mention Seal, I think of like that song from the Batman soundtrack. Uh-huh. I've been kissed by four roses, <laughs> bourbon. Yeah. There you go. Thank you for covering well, it, because I was actually going to say the, the actual lyrics. Oh, bourbon. Okay, there we go. So now, uh, you know who the, Good the save. woman, <laughs> the woman with sock gloves, she looks like the, I don't know her name, the black cop from, the female black cop from Reno 911. Oh, Niecy such Nash. A, such a great fucking show, man. Yeah. Nisi Nash, like she was like her and uh, the guy that she's in love with. Uh, I can't Paul think. Black of guy Cedric. I fucking love those two. <laughs> I like the episode where it's like, 
you know, like, how can I explain? They said something about black time. And he's like, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry for something and being black. And the fucking dude with the mustache is like, all right, apology accepted. <laughs> and he was like, what the fuck? He was, what? <laughs> like, God damn it. Uh oh. So now somebody hit the black chick. Damn. Okay. The wow. Asian chick is going to town. God on... Damn. She hit the black chick in the back, dropped the gun, and it shot the dude in the ribs that was going through withdrawals. Yeah. And then the Asian chick is just fucking going to town. See, she knows how to do a bow staff. Did she? <laughs> those look like real swings. Good God. That and she just like. Like we didn't get like okay God like you damn. remember like Zombievers and it was like like the please don't fuck up my house moment where they're like like tapping the boards into the wall and they're just like tap tap yeah, no nope. tap tap no those were like real swings they were they look like they were about to penetrate the skull oh yeah she was trying and she was also stabbing inwards and I like how it did the zoom up on that girl's face which is all jacked up yeah. I don't think she's going to come back for number two. She oh, probably no. did a number two she in is, her pants after she freaking... She's like fucking Glenn dead. God damn. For those of you that watch The Walking Dead, mm-hmm. which is probably most of our audience. Maybe. <laughs> I, I would imagine. So many memes came out after that. Halloween yeah. costumes. Yeah. So now Brigida and... Uh, Come and, on, boy. He's coming. Guy. Or like he's 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 going through it. Like he's dude. He's going through withdrawals even as a kid. Like I said, man, he just has fucking chicken pox, and it's just turned into shingles. So, right when he was like eleven years old, I'm assuming it's just he was like a monster his entire life. That's rude. And no, I mean, <laughs> no, I'm just trying to say it meanly. <laughs> Don't paint me that way. <laughs> No, he probably was, man. No, he was like a monster his entire life. And they're using heroin to, like, sedate the monster? No, I don't think he's a monster. I'm thinking that, like I said, he probably just has, like, ashy skin. Damn. So now, Carl... What the fuck? Aren't they all the same team? (gasps) So Hugh Jackman or uh, Carl Urbane. Jew Hackman. Jew Hackman is now... He was dead. choking the violent girl. He was choking violent girl. But and then he's... Well, violent girl... Like, uh, no, the Asian girlfriend hit him in the back with a pull cue. And so that gave the violent girl enough time to grab her gun and point the gun at him like she's going to shoot him. And then he hurry and dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Yeah. And move the five away. rules of dodgeball. Damn, moved out of the way, and she shot her girlfriend right in the fucking head. Yeah. There's a lot of fucking headshots in this movie. And now That's everybody's like awesome. paralyzed because like, it's fucking Romeo and Juliet. We hit our like emotional like threshold moment. Yeah, there's one dude point. fucking going through withdrawals, but he's also shot in the ribs. So that's kind of funny. I was gonna say he was like <laughs> like Billy Ocean, but like 30 years later. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's he just out did the, of my dreams. <laughs> he just he just did the long close his eyes. <laughs> so now Sarah Connor's screaming why, and she's crying. Mm-hmm. It should have been me, Lord. You know, take me. There's so much drama going on, right? The fucking sock hands is dead. The dude through withdrawals was shot in the ribs. Like I said, that's funny in itself. So, Wait a second. You know what? He's I don't holding think... her, but she's shaking, right? She's that's pretty shitty CPR. Or is she is she crying so hard she's shaking? I think she's trying to do chest compressions where you put <laughs> one hand on the shoulder and one hand on their stomach and are, you just are we doing shake like them. we're doing maniac cop yeah. chest compressions here? Shake them again. Like do the bent arm. Yep. Like, wiggle it. Like um, I'm doing push ups. Twerk it. These aren't these aren't oh, chest pressures. This is my exercise. Back. Yeah. <laughs> now we're back in the day where Sill is with the young Sarah Connor, and they're just melting. I've been. <laughs> they're melting, <laughs> melting some kind of liquid in a spoon that's bent at a ninety degree angle. Heroin. Hmm. 
I mean, it could be cotton candy. I mean, the I, juice is loose. I don't think that's how you make cotton candy, considering I mean, we'll never know. That's a widely sold product. Ew! So it was the kid. What the yeah. fuck is that? The Karate Kid son well, rising yeah, up. A, this is like the sun rising up in the morning. Damn! And then it's just this boiling liquid in a spoon. That's not cough syrup. What if it was cough syrup? What if it's calamine lotion? He's injecting into his skin so he's not all itchy. I mean, it's a See? weird way to put on lotion, but I mean, you do you. Have you? Do I have ashy fingers? I would advise you not to do that. Smooth hands. <laughs> 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 Fucked up. So now we're back. Violent girl. You know what? I think that violent girl shot Jew Hackman and the so, bullet went through him and went. Oh, oh wow. What so the now fuck? so sweaty guy just gets black eyes and wakes up and he's starting to contort. He's not. He's fucking pop lock and dropping. I don't want to be, you know, make this comment, but why are they always break dancing? So, I know. so now we get a flashback to Seal, Sarah Connor, and the sweaty guy. Damn. And now everybody's like, and what the like, fuck? And, and he says, I'm not a child anymore. You're my child. That'll never change, son. I feel like that's the conversation that every parent has with their child. Yeah, I saw that with Mel Gibson in The Patriot. <laughs> I'm not a child anymore. You're my child. Boom. Shut him up, didn't it? Actually, my favorite is Braveheart. It's like where the child uh, chases, uh, the young William Wallace chases after uh, uh, his father. And he's like, he's like, I don't want you to go. He's like, go back inside before I whip your ass. <laughs> 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 no, mine was just when he fucking, whatever, announced Prima Nocta. Yeah. <laughs> so now everybody's backing up because this guy's contorting. But it keeps going to flashback. Yeah. Damn, what the fuck? He's not contorting. He's like buffing up. So maybe they weren't taking heroin. They were taking steroids. Because look, all of a sudden his calf muscles are popping, veins are popping out. Maybe he's a fucking werewolf. Yeah. Is it a full moon? Maybe, maybe. That's the fucking M. Night Shamalaki twist. God, he is really good at the contorting thing. Because it's like... He's doing the fish out of water it, dance. It doesn't look, you know, like I'm doing a like a, like a dance movement. Yeah, that or maybe he's just really shitty at doing the worm. <laughs> think about that. Well, maybe that's maybe that's the uh Damn. the the direction is like the next director is like Like do you know how to do the worm? Yeah. Do it badly. Don't do it. <laughs> like it, it's like the John Lennon thing with the uh with uh the James Bond theme. It's like like he kept telling them do it worse. Do it worse. Well, do it like, worse. You know how to do it? Yeah. Try like, to do it sideways. Like the li the live and let die theme, that was the direction, and the orchestra was getting pissed off at him because he kept saying, "Do it worse, do it worse." <laughs> so what the fuck? So we went outside, and Seal is having some kind of issue on the ground, and now the old guy shot Seal in the face. But now we're back inside the bar, and sweaty dude, who's now turned into a monster. And we're now daytime. No, this is a flashback, and now we're in real time. Yeah, but this is like daytime now. Ew, so the kid really is turning into a monster. Yeah, he's turning into a monster. Oh, all right. He has claws now. And those just really ugly E.T. fingers. But his calf muscle popped. It looked like he needed to get... Oh, Jesus. Like, the God. muscles are bursting out of his chest. He also has a bunch of gross pubic hair on his body, chest, arms, back. Yeah. Does he turn into a werewolf? Fucking Michael Jackson's going to come out popping the thriller. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Good God, this makeup is fucked. His face, Jesus. Oh, my God. This is some good graphics good god he's peeling his skin off and exposing oh, geez. And like he doesn't even look human anymore 
No, he looks like that alien from fucking um, Green Lantern. And now he's his head. Like it the doesn't fuck even are those teeth. Yeah. Why are they so weird and They're lopsided? Like, like popped out of his mouth. Damn. And, wow, he's starting to fuck people up. It literally he, is. Yeah. He grabs Violent Girl. The fucking and slashes her, her throat with his claw. Damn. Damn. And I loved like the shot of blood at the camera. That was fucked up. What's yeah. all over the ground? Sawdust? But oh. did he pull her head off? He's he pulled her pulled spine her out. Spine out. Jesus. Like he's the fucking predator. Oh, that's good. Good God. Does she have scoliosis? Why is her fucking spine I mean, like that? She oh, does fuck. now. He's holding it like a baseball bat. And he smacked the fuck out of Jorge uh, Ropez. <laughs> and now he's running after the fucking ambulance chaser lawyer. Stabs him. Punched him through the fucking head. You don't see that that often. No, you do not. Damn. Oh, now he's going after the cowboy. And we're, we're seeing everybody else's reaction. My oh, and God. he just took out a part of his throat. Oh. He fucking damn. Now, there goes Woody. Ripped his head off. I like how the famous girl still just looking around like, well, like I'm he, famous. This so he can't has happen. claws on half of his face. No, that's his teeth. Like his teeth are on half of his face, and they're pointing parallel to the ground. Yeah. And now the famous girl's trying to get. Is that the bartender? Get off my the bar. I ate him a last streak. <laughs> I, at this point, I would, because what I know f- I'm going to die, right? What the fuck is on the ground now? Sawdust? Where'd all that come from? That is a really good question. Damn, so he just punctured her face with his teeth? Yeah. That's a really fucked up looking monster. Has like, looks like scapulas and shit popping it's out like- of his sh- asymmetrical random ass in a way like like there's there's a lack of balance on each side damn he just punched somebody in the stomach and ripped their guts out and is that he's pulling the guts out of is that Jorge I think it was yeah please jump rope with him (laughs) I I feel like it would fuck up the tone of this movie if that happened yeah and now, Ew, he, so that's got to be his mom. That's his mom. I promised to take care of you, and I failed. There's gentle music. I feel like this is the parent. This is the parent-child uh, conversation that everybody has with the parent or with the child that is not living up to expectations. It's like this makes me want to just inject my son with, you know, black tar heroin twenty four seven. You never know. Maybe he has a monster inside of him. I mean, maybe. You know, just to be safe. But you got to put it between your toes so there's no tracks. I heard. (laughs) So So now the mom grabs a knife and stabs her son, the monster, in the back. Or is that the, like, L7? Yeah. Damn, and now the other guy. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five. No, Carl Urbane. Six. Comes up behind and starts try to finish the job. Trying to the prison shank him. Yeah, like the monster's un like unfettered here. Didn't hurt him at all. He's gonna rip his head off now. Oh wow, he's about to crush his head. Ew. Wow, he's split. Damn. He split his head like a f- yeah. fucking coconut. Like a fucking cantaloupe. Damn, dude. Good God! And then the all mom the is blood just in there. All the blood shot onto the mom, like. The money shot. Like a yeah, like a fucking blood can. Right on those you know them thingies. Damn Onto them boobies. So now he just grabbed his mom by the shoulder and the throat. Jeez. Looks like he's gonna slow dance with her. He lays her down softly though. And he's he's killing her the entire time. She's convulsing. Uh how did he kill her though? That's a really good question. Maybe he fucking Mr. Garrison there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that monster's limping. You faking it, man. 
So a, a light flashed. So there's Ew. two people left. That guy's been in the bathroom the whole time, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah. And he's just waiting for the perfect time. You know he didn't wipe. No, he didn't. He's but like, oh, at, that's, at the same time, if there are people with guns out there and there's a monster, I the last of my worries is wiping my ass. Nah, man. That's the first of mine. Well, then carry some fucking dude wipes. Dude. When you fucking... Man, you think about that. If you die, the coroner's going to be like, damn, man, this guy had a dirty ass. <laughs> and you see, you'll be like, no, I was killed taking a dump. You and every Mexican mom out there. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's the thing, man. You go on road trips. You got to fucking manscape up just in case something happens. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, see I see it. My wife's like, why you do that? And I was like, if I die, I want to fucking... Do you know? Good Oh, God. wow. Jeez. So the guy that was hiding is now becoming a pile of body parts. In the fucking bathroom. Literally. Leg. Leg. He oh, is. His head's still in there. But his head's still there. But oh, then the rest of him is leg like and his chunky ground turkey. See, and now when they police go in there, they're just like, hey, I found someone's ass. And they clearly did it wipe. Which, okay, we haven't noted it yet, but the lighting in this is amazing. I was about to say, they probably had to change it to this color. It's this, like, wonderful, like, fucking 80s lighting. It's like the red and blue light. Yeah. But they like, probably had to change it to it, so that way, like, I think that's what Sin City... Sin like, City had to change it to that black and white. Yeah. Because of how much blood was on it, it would have had to do something with... Yeah, their ratings. But if you were like to put like like a like a three D on this, ooh, it would fucking pop. Yeah, like it's I beautiful. Still don't remember what the fuck's all over the ground? Still trying to figure that out. But so now, so now the 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 blonde bartender is pops out from behind the pool table. She's, I think she's the only one left at this point. Is she? Yeah, I think she is Like too. inside the bar, right? Uh-oh. And she has that half of the pull cue and poked it right in his... Uh, I mean, that's not any organs. His lower left ribs. It's in one of the ribs. I didn't see the, the level of the rib. the lower ones. Marilyn Manson got those ones removed when we were in junior high. The beautiful people. <laughs> the beautiful people. You remember that dumb rumor? Yeah. God, I saw a post about that. It's like the best thing we did in our age. Was Just like Marilyn Manson forced everybody or the front row to rip up a Bible before he would start his concert. <laughs> so because because that's constitutional right there. That's really fucking dumb. Yeah. And Mountain Dew. <laughs> so All now, right. oh, so she was. So she's the one who was in the corner. Because she looks so spatially the similar. Monster like collapses. In. Just gets stabbed, and he's like, "You know what? That did hurt. I'm sorry. I murdered everybody by ripping their spine out and their heads off, and their arms out, and their guts out, and their limbs off, and garrisoning somebody. Like, and then he just goes behind the bar and lays down. Yeah. Man, what a bitch. Well, I mean, like, if you're that big, you know, big badass monster, you're you're probably like, you know, it's going to take a minute for the killing blow to take effect. I, just, I mean, like, if it was on, like, his right side, maybe she got his liver. You know? But he's a monster now, so maybe, we don't know monster. So maybe me. they put his thing down, flipped it, and reversed it? Yeah, yeah. Like his, a, his he's livers a, on his right, his left side. I, I don't know. Like he's he's a monster at this point. Potentially, yeah. Could have been his heart. We don't know monster anatomy. Is there a class for that? There's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> so now she is. You know, how fucked up that'd be if you made somebody and you're just like, okay, we're gonna go heart, liver, and then both kidneys in a straight line. It's like no, because they get hit in one, that line. Yeah, they're all dead. So now she asked oh. the question: How did this happen to you? Yeah, what the he's fuck? And now he's back, back to his his normal self. Yeah, he's she a said, man formerly known as Monster. It was a scratch. 
He was he was created by a scratch. See another PSA. Get the fucking uh what the fuck monk no goddamn I'm fucking drunk. What smallpox? No, chicken pox. Chicken Get the pox. chicken pox vaccine. Get vaccinated, period. For the most part. Yeah. Don't hedge. <laughs> Don't hedge, Brian. Chicken pox. Yeah. You know, it blew my mind when my wife, when we had our kid, and she's like, you know, he's not going to get chicken pox. And I was like, what? And she's like, no, that's what that vaccine was because a real vaccine stops you from getting something, you know? And I was like, okay, so <clears throat> sorry to cut off your story. I'll let you finish. Oh, no, that was basically it. Yeah. But uh, now all the outside people are now going to come in. And they're going to search the building. Hurry up, dummy. Let's find this fuck. How are you going to find him? Oh, he's the monster. He's the monster. Oh, okay. Just look for a fucking monster. That's exactly. Yeah. Like, we're dealing with some some high-level intellectual, intellectuals here. <laughs> it's like Into fucking Dwight. Intellectuals. It's I, like Dwight when he's like, my, neighbor, my neighbor's dog used to turn into a werewolf. And when I shot it, by the time I got to him, he had already changed back to a dog. So, oh wow! <laughs> so, the so bartender, bartender gets shot. Well, she stabbed that dude in the back. Which I was going to say, he looks like older Drew Marvick. I was going to say, yeah, he looks like a, a generic chop top. I was going to say older Drew Marvick. Uh oh. Yeah. So and the then, girl oh. now. Is the monster. Yeah. Because she got bucked in her chest, laid down, and then her eyes turned black. Because she got scratched. She's got that itch. Yeah. Uh Uh-oh. So now... There's another monster. Good God. It's such an ugly fucking... I think it looks worse with normal lighting. It's still just, what the fuck? And we hit the credits. Uh Uh-oh. But the monster's still going. Credits can't hold me back. Punches punches the the redneck dude through the chest. From the back. That's some fucked up shit, dude. You know, sometimes it's better from the back. And grabs their arm. Did they rip the arm through the chest as well? Yeah, I think so. Oh, please use the arm to hit somebody. Nope, they threw it. Yeah, like a pimp slap? What? That would please? be fucked up. Please. To get pimp slapped by your own hand? And then oh. slashes somebody's throat with like a single swing. Damn. Yeah, she's not going to go home. That, okay, that kind of looked like a prop head a little what bit. What the fuck? A little bit. No, it looked like a prop body. Now there's a stupid kid that's wearing the mask of a killer. Yeah. And then realizes, like, hey, this is probably a stupid idea. Oh, good. Another good reason to murder that person. Being a dipshit. Wearing a, you know. Hey, here's a fucking mask. Damn, so we're just going through a montage of this monster now. While the credits are rolling. God damn. Wow. People being so gutted. We like we don't even get to see the kill. We just see somebody like disemboweled, laying and crawling on the ground. Special effects. Bravo FX. Good job, Bravo FX. And then somebody's getting their head slammed into the ground. That's fun. See, why the fuck are these people still wearing these fucked up masks? Yeah, when when Whatever you're fighting is severely more fucked up than you. And brutally murdering everybody in front of you. Like, why are you going to... there you go. That's what I wanted to see. Beat somebody with their own arm. They ripped an arm off and just started fucking pounding them with it. Can we do that? That that would be awesome. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. That brings whole... Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? I like how that monster... It looked like it had a crab arm. Yeah. (laughs) That's we get like up. the fucking like Tommy Dreamer pose with the arms out, <laughs> like like right after he beats Raven. It's like, am I good enough now? 
<laughs> so here's the thing before we go get a, a refill and end it. I like how it says the next movie up is fucking Rumble in the Bronx with Jackie Chan. How I the know. fuck do you go from, from the craving or from craving to Rumble in the Bronx? Because algorithms. Hey, you like people being brutally murdered? Do you think a fucking comedian martial artist was up on your next thing? Like lightly kicking people in the face? Pew, 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 pew. You know what's funny is my taekwondo master, he fucking, he didn't really like Bruce Lee. And he liked Jackie Chan more. And I was like, what? Why? And he said because uh, Bruce Lee didn't do any of his own stunts, apparently. I don't know. Hmm. But Jackie Chan did, does, did, everything like that. And he's like, he's this, this, this. Even though my Taekwondo master hated Kung Fu. Yeah. He's like, it's just showy. I was like, all right, man. All right. Don't beat me up. Anyways. All right. <laughs> well, we'll be, we'll be back with final thoughts on Craving. All right, and we're back with final thoughts on craving. Yep. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Usually you start off. Yeah, um, I know. I was just looking for some reason. Anyways, um, I thought it was good. I thought you know, I thought it was super crazy that there literally was a fucking monster. Like I am never wrong on this podcast. <laughs> well, yeah, when when an entire movie tells you the entire time it's a monster, it's a monster, it's a monster. Yeah, the, but you're I'm like thinking monster, like you know the movie Monster, which single handedly made me stop picking up highway prostitutes. <laughs> you know, well, if that's the only reason, <laughs> the only reason, if that's the only reason. Can't think of any other reason why I stopped doing that. There's a, like a three letter reason. Sex. S T. Oh. <laughs> it starts with S. And you know how we have that highway right here. Yeah. <laughs> the only street that's right there. Yeah. I told it to my mom. And she's like, Brian. <laughs> she got so <laughs> pissed when I told her that. There aren't any in street walkers on this highway. I mean, <laughs> not anymore. Boom. <laughs> Since when? Oh, no. Oh, I, was, <laughs> no, no, I was just hinting. Yeah, no. Well, but Charlie's there and has to go get go and get an Oscar for best actress. And then all of a sudden, up. we lose prostitution on Blue Diamond. Dude, I don't fucking understand how anybody is just driving down the street. He's like, "Hey, there's somebody. I'm going to try to do this." Like, I'm so protective of my wiener. You look propositionable. Eggs, like, I'm so afraid. Because here's the thing, too. It's like, guess what? If that person is going to do that with you, you could be their first customer that day. You could be their 31st customer of that day. Does either one sound better? Because I mean, the if first of the day. First like a of the seasoned day. professional. Yeah. But at the same time, well, if they're like, oh, you're the first of my day. It's Monday. But... I've also been up for seven days straight. <laughs> like that's it's just it just blows my mind that that fucking that people do that shit. Yeah, you know, like just driving and then be like, you know what, <laughs> want to do this? Both of them gross. Yeah, both, both are. But it's like different levels of gross. But yeah, I get it. Um, but okay, so a hilarious joke. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, back getting back to, to the movie, craving, yeah, it. I was super, super surprised. That's the thing is like I like that in this movie we get little levels of gore. That I kind didn't of like think there was a little level of gore. Well, okay, yeah, no, there was, there really wasn't. But at the same time, um, we kind of like walk you into the level of intensity you're about to come into because you get like initially you get the flashback. And you don't, it's like an after effect. It's kind of like um, we talked to um, Jeremiah Kipp from Slapface, where a lot of that movie is after gore. Yeah, so I mean, like, but like, to... but like, you get like a little bit of after gore, and then you get a little bit of uh, like, like an actual kill. Like, yeah, I'm going to have to go back and for sure watch it in my personal time because. 
thinking back on that on that uh, flashback where that big dude was just pounding that dude's face in. Why? Yeah, then you get an actual kill, and then you get a little more after gore, and then the whole thing blows up in the end, and you get the whole thing in one shot in like a twenty minute span, maybe. Yeah, I thought it was, and I think it's real. It's really effective because it, it kind of plays a lot like X, where I don't know who these people are at the beginning, but then I get to know them, and I get an attachment to them, and then they die. And I start to feel things because they died. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like it's it's the horror movie formula, but it works. Yeah. Well, like I said, like uh, I like the surprise factor too. Like that yes. was a big one of this movie. You know, like I really thought that it was going to be one of those ones where they're like, "Hey, we're Jesus lovers out here, and you guys in there are fucking addicts." And you need to release the monster inside of you and come fucking accept Jesus as your savior type of thing. But then, psych, it's a real monster. Yeah. Like, holy shit. And it's some dude that's been chasing the monster for, like, a while. Yeah, maybe he fucking, he's been chasing that that Puff the Magic Dragon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or maybe it's the Moby Dick. (laughs) You know? Who fucking, like, it was... When it was an actual monster, that was a fucking holy shit movement or movement moment. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's it's kind of like uh um like an all eyes moment. Yeah. Where when the entire forget. movie you're thinking it's oh, the, the, this crazy backwoods guy that's promising you that I swear there's a monster. There's a monster and you get so many promises that at some point you're just like there's no monster. <clears throat> And, and that's going to be goes, the twist. Exactly. It goes because he's no longer looking for the monster. He's trying to survive the crazy house and the booby traps and everything like that. Which, and all of a sudden. Yeah. Which with this boom. movie, I also love that they, they they show you the monster. But then like uh, kind of one of the things I like a little sneak peek of the interview. I, I talked to Jay Horton like the the monster is intentionally asymmetrical. Hmm. Like he's like smooth on one side and then like jagged on the other side. And there's this intentional thing where like it's supposed to disturb you. Yeah, it was because fucked up looking. It's like it's fucked up. It, it, it's weird. It's fucked up looking. It's like um, if you remember like the 1990s Turtles movies where it's like people in turtle suits. And it's very obvious that this is a person. You know that, that dude is inside a scorpion? A, I did not know that. Yeah, the same dude who played Scorpion played the Ninja Turtles. No fucking way. Yeah. But, like, the there's a very intentional attempt here to kind of pull you out of the human features. Yeah, it was fucked to, up. To, like, freak you out. Yeah. Because there's a literal fucking monster right there. Like, why the fuck did they have to be addicts then? But but Why I also love be fucking just normal people in a bar being hijacked. Well, yeah, like but, that's the that was a fucking awesome twist that they did into it too. Because yeah. the entire time you're thinking, like I said, like oh, it's gonna be kind of like a Saw movie where you know if you're if whatever you're too overweight, then you know you're gonna get put into this thing for your gluttony. Or if you fucking are too much greed, like you need to do this, and that's why people are being murdered. I really thought that throughout the bar the entire time that they're going to be like, you know what? All you people fucking had a second chance at life for some reason, and then you just went and started fucking getting addicted to shit. So now this is your fucking awakening of you either release that monster in you or we're going to come and kill you. And then when it's like, oh, he got shot in the ribs, and now he literally is a monster. Maybe that's the fucking thing. Don't get shot in the ribs. <laughs> don't, don't get shot in the ribs. Don't get chicken pox, shingles, and shot in the ribs. And be addicted to fucking heroin. That's the combo. That's the trifecta, right? <laughs> if you have chicken pox ever since you were a little kid, and you've had them for your entire life, so you're itchy, and then you're like, you know what? To get rid of the itch, I'm a mainline some black tar, that's not a good combo right there. And then get shot in the ribs at the same time. Fuck that. That's like the straw that broke the camel's back. 
Now you turn into a literal monster and you murder people because you're all mad. Boom. Just solved it. Okay. <laughs> well, Maybe. <laughs> can't argue with all the logic. But, uh, I mean, that, that that is the thing that I liked about this movie is there is the human factor that you get uh, enough backstory like not like a flood of backstory to the point that we're not moving forward or moving backwards. Yeah. But like you get enough backstory <laughs> where I feel like um, this, like what a lot of this mimics is the cycle of addiction where like, I, I feel it's, it's very intentional in the way they do it where, mm-hmm. or w- in the way Jay Horton goes after this where there's this cycle of addiction where, um, you know, oh, he gets this way if he doesn't have his cocaine or he doesn't, you know, or whatever. And I know they're starting at a very young age because they're trying to create a monster. But at the same time, you know, like at a certain age, some people get hooked on certain things. Um, and there's this, this this thing it's like there's the enabler Mm -hmm. and the enabler is the one that's like oh well they need their stuff otherwise they're gonna turn into a monster you know and just become impossible to deal with and it's the real life version of what we watched see and that's the part where it's like a literal monster instead of just being like you know oh my kid didn't take a nap today he's just a fucking monster yeah if your fucking like, kid all of a sudden turns into an eight foot tall, but predator. there are those parents or those people in your life or whatever that become that enabler to the monster, mm. and and I like the way the, what this movie does is kind of addresses that there was a Doctor Frankenstein to the monster that the monster didn't create himself. Doctor Frankenstein created the monster bastard kind of thing like yeah. th- there is that acknowledgement that like that there were a thousand small choices that were made along the way see that created this asymmetrical monster that made us all shit our pants so, before he slit our throats instead of fucking the Which, parents being like hey you got chicken pox don't itch it they just lather them up in fucking calmine lotion the entire time. And so now the kid, like, you know, if you put Carmax on your lips and you don't need Carmax and it gets bad, it's bad for your lips. So this kid growing up, the parents just instantly just threw car or fucking calmine lotion on him the entire time. And so again, maybe he does it in, into heroin. Maybe it was just fucking mainlining calamine lotion. <laughs> and when they ran out of lotion, then he turns into that ashy ass monster. <laughs> See? And so fucking they've been protecting him from the itch his entire life because maybe they live in fucking Texas where it's, you know, humidity level is really high and they have mosquitoes. And so you need to fucking be, you know, you need to be ready with lotion nonstop to stop the itch. Because as soon as he said he's got that itch, instantly started turning to that monster, man. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I thought it was well executed. I like that you get your little like taste of Felissa Rose and you think, oh, she's sticking around because it's Damn. Felissa Rose. You wouldn't like you wouldn't hire Felissa Rose unless She's going to be here for the, like the entire movie. She got blasted hella quick. Or we're going to get like a, like a John Mayer, Bill Burr thing where it's like the book ends. There was another movie. What the fuck movie? I think it had like a Ryan Reynolds. Is it Life? Life with Sandra. I don't even fucking remember. Mm-hmm. Anyways. But yeah. But uh, like I, I like how her death is so quick and it's so shocking. Yeah. That's and it's like one. you weren't ready for it because it's like you're ready when you see her you're ready to like like relax like I she's thought gonna, for sure like she'll be around for a while with that gunshot maybe she got fucking shot in the stomach 
You know, let's start the movie off with Felicity getting blasted in the stomach. And then it's like, psych. And then she's just going to sit in the corner and we're here's your head. Like a few shots of her. Yeah. No. Like I said, there was some, it was a really awesome movie with the whole fucking being a literal monster like that one. Because, yeah. Nope. It was great. It was a great twist. It had everything. Which, uh, like the this is actually a part of a larger trilogy of of monster films hmm. um where the next one is uh actually a part of uh uh what is it indiegogo right now uh it's called a hard place uh-huh. you can find it on Indi- on indiegogo at this uh at this time where basically it's like monster versus monster what in if the it's second like film, every addiction is a different monster. That'd be cool. It's so like heroin, how that looked all fucked up. Like, what yeah. if like alcohol addiction is just like a a big frumpy sloth looking monster, <laughs> and like weed is just like a fucking sloth, like slow, like skinny ass thing that goes around. <laughs> Doesn't really murder people, but like it gets in your way and then you fucking get frustrated and do something dumb and you know like on tucker and Dell take on evil or something oh yeah and you're just like get the fuck out of my way and then like fall into a wood chipper you know no but i thought like the the character development was really like solid with this movie that like at we always n- knew where the main characters were coming from more yeah. or less like uh, as far as the characters that matter to the the central part of the story, yeah, that was good. It was good. So, no solid, solid movie for sure. They're not, you know, gonna bring back a bunch of the people for number two. Oh no! Like <laughs> everybody's gone almost at this point, except for one. No, she's gone too. But she's the monster, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for the uh Yep. A bunch of people just got fucking murked so hard, dude. Damn. Fucked up. But no man, it was good. Like I said, there was a bunch of oh shit moments. Yeah. So, that's mine. All right. Well, uh, we will talk to you next time. Indeed. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to the podcast. This podcast is available on all major podcast networks and YouTube. If you like what you're hearing, please follow, like, and subscribe to us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. 